This is Kylian Mbappe, the highest rated player in FIFA 23. With a 91 rating, I'd say he's pretty good. But how good would he be if his rating was even higher? Well, today I've maxed out Mbappe's stats, making him 99 overall. And we're going to put him through a series of challenges to see how good he really is. For challenge one, we start in the arena where Mbappe's dribbling and shooting stats will be put to the test. Now to move on to the next round, we have 60 seconds to score a penalty, free kick, and dribble into the net starting now. All right, what move should I do? La Croqueta. Perfect. Okay. We're on to a good start. Penalty next. We got to do free kicks last. I'm not good at free kicks at all. All right. Penalty to the right. There's no way he's saving 99 pens. No way he's saving 99 pens. We don't have time. We don't have time to complain. Please, Mbappe. Okay. Now just the free kicks left. I've been practicing these. Let the practice pay off, please. Good save. That was a good attempt. This one going in. Time is running out. We can't be making these mistakes. This might be the one. That's the one! We complete challenge one. We're on to challenge two. What a free kick. I'm getting better every day. Now, Mbappe has never won the Champions League or the Premier League. So he has two seasons to try and achieve this. And I know what you might be thinking. Has Mbappe plays for PSG? Well, not anymore. I actually transferred him over to a club in the Premier League who is in desperate need of a striker after their star left. Yes. You guessed it. Mbappe is a Manchester United player. Who would have thought? After the first four games of the season, Manchester United are actually in first place. But our 99 Mbappe only has two goals in those four games. I honestly expected to see him at the top of the goal scoring leaderboard. But we have all season to get there. So we actually have our first issue now. Manchester United is not playing in the Champions League this season. Instead, they're playing in the Europa League, which kind of puts our challenge on hold for this season as we can't win the Champions League if we're not playing in it. So our goal is to either win the Europa league or finish in a top four place in the premier league to qualify for the champions league next season now it's november 19th in the season and manchester united are still in first place with nine wins in 11 matches but man city is right there behind them things are also going really well for us in the europa league four games played four wins we should be able to win our group comfortably but this is gonna have to go on hold because november 20th is when the world cup starts and 99 mbappe needs to fly to qatar with team france now because the world cup is literally in the middle of our season challenge two has been put on hold and challenge three is to win the world cup with 99 mbappe and our first obstacle is poland in the round of 16 match Lewandowski is going down i'm sorry to say it and i do have the difficulty at the highest level to really test myself and 99 mbappe and as expected we got off to a great start is there a chance cross finish let's go one nothing and a second goal quickly followed two what a strike mbappe here we go goal three there we go. That's going to be game. Now the game has ended 3-0. We beat Poland in the round of 16. We're on to the quarterfinals. Now, just like it was in the World Cup, France's next opponent is England. This one's going to be tough. On second thought, look at England's defenders. They have Harry Maguire. 43 pace. What is that to Mbappe's 99? But it was actually Dembele's pace that was giving them a problem. Here go. Yes, 1-0. What a golazo. And Mbappe had a chance to make it too. Can we make it too? Yes, we can! Kylian Mbappe! It looks like we're going to the semifinals. But England kept the pressure on. No! I was stressing at this point, but then this happened. That's the ball. Three! That's the goal! And that's the game. We're on to the semifinals. In the semifinals, France takes on Morocco. And the only goals of the match would come from Griezmann and 99 Mbappe. Now, a 2 0 win in the semifinals against Morocco brings France to the finals. Can 99 Mbappe win a World Cup with his nation? Let's find out. Here we go, the World Cup final. France versus Argentina. The match started with me defending for my life. And Messi only needed one opportunity. No! No! What a goal by Messi! But a crucial mistake by Argentina's goalkeeper gave us life. There we go! What a mistake! 45th minute, we tie it up. And in the second half, Argentina was the one defending. That's the ball! 3 No, 2 1. I was gonna say 3 1. Hopefully, I didn't jinx it. Mbappe? Finish! That's 3 1. It looks like we're about to win the World Cup with Mbappe. But 99 Mbappe wasn't done yet. 4 1. Can it be 4 1? from here what a goal that's 99 shot power 99 finishing 99 shot accuracy i never thought that'd go in there we have it france have won the world cup 99 mbappe is heading home to manchester united 
to continue the season with the World Cup in his hands. Now Mbappe returns to Manchester United just in time to see the nominees for the Player of the Year, also known as the Ballon d'Or, and he didn't make the list. How are you not putting the World Cup winner on the list of Players of the Year? Now the season has concluded and we did make it to the Champions League next season by getting third place in the Premier League. Even if we didn't get top four, it doesn't matter because we won the Europa League. That means we guarantee a spot in the Champions League next season where we gotta win it. Mbappe, you got a lot of work this next season, man. And just to help Mbappe out a tiny bit, I have this wheel, which contains five superstars, which will help Mbappe win the Champions League next season. So we got De Bruyne, Nkunku, Neymar, Kimmich, and Virgil van Dijk. Which one is it gonna be, wheel? I kinda want it to land on Nkunku. Is it gonna land there? Or is it gonna be De Bruyne? It's gonna be Nkunku! Let's go, okay, that's a very good card to have beside Mbappe. All right, we do have $1.2 billion, so we should be able to get him onto this team. We've signed Christopher Nkunku, 125 million from RB Leipzig. We get an F for bad negotiation, but that's fine. We move on. There he is, our new signing, Mr. Nkunku. Season two has begun and we got our Champions League group. We're in group E. This is actually a pretty easy group. Let's see the other teams. FC Porto's in this one, Real Madrid, Dortmund. Okay, this is actually a pretty easy group. We should be able to win this one. Let's see how our first match goes. 1-1, one, one. Mbappe did score, but it wasn't enough. Now we had a slow start, but after our first three games, we are at the top of our Champions League group. Dinamo Kiev is actually in second. Leipzig's in third, and I feel like it might be because we stole Nkunku from them, but we move on. But things aren't going so great in the Premier League. We're sitting in seventh place with four wins in 10 matches. A lot of draws. I feel like we gotta make some changes there. We're advancing in challenge two because Manchester United has won their group in the Champions League. We come out with 14 points. Four wins, two draws. RB Leipzig actually did squeeze by without Nkunku. Now our Champions League dreams continue and we play Frankfurt in the round of 16. All right, can we win the first leg against Frankfurt? Please, please. No, we tied. It's not good going into leg two. Yes, we beat them. 3-2 on aggregate. Mbappe didn't even score, but we move on to the quarterfinals. The quarterfinals are here and we have to play PSG. Luckily, there's no Mbappe on there. Let's see how the first leg goes. No. Harry Kane plays there? But in the Premier League, it's looking pretty good. We are in second place with 64 points. We have turned things around slightly. We do want to win this league, but Champions League hopes are dying every day. Everything comes down to this match right here. Can we win it? Can we do it? We won, but we were eliminated on aggregate 5-4 because PSG scored more goals in the other game. At the end of the season, Mbappe has scored 27 goals in 38 matches, but have we won the league? No, fourth place. Mbappe failed to complete all the challenges, but let me know the next player I should make 99 overall. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy this video right here. And don't forget to subscribe.